guys welcome to yet another video on unboxing and review this time I'm I'll be unboxing a smartphone gimbal I have an obsession for photography and I know I needed a smartphone gimbal to stabilize the quality of my video I have been searching the entire YouTube to find the best yet affordable gimbal after watching endless videos on unboxing and review I shortlisted on Zion Smooth Q and Feiyu Tech SPG Sion Smooth Q comes around 120 US dollars and Feiyu Tech SPG comes around 160 US dollars. Port well within my budget. Now the confusion was which one should I go for? After careful consideration on all its aspects and its features, I decided to go with Feiyu Tech SPG. Let's do the unboxing and I'll let you know why I selected Feiyu Tech SPG over Zion Smooth Q. Keep watching. It comes in a very premium packaging. Inside the box you will find a quick user manual. It's in English as well as in many other languages, which is very good. This is a splash proof device, though not waterproof. Please do not submerge it into water. It also describes various functionality buttons and features. This is the detailed user manual describing how to set up, connect it to your mobile device via Feiyu on app and how to use the various features. There are two paddings for action cameras. You can also buy an action camera attachment that can be used with this gimbal. In the small box you will get one micro USB charging cable and a battery. The battery is already inside the gimbal. This is the additional battery which I managed to get from the dealer for free. This is a 3000 mAh battery and the manufacturer claims 8 hours of usage with one full charge. So when I travel I can use this gimbal for 16 hours before I need a charging. Now this is the gimbal, it comes in a nice carry case. The gimbal feels premium, whole metallic body with a rubber grip for comfort. There are three buttons in front shutter button for photo and video function button for shifting between the three modes this also doubles as a power button joystick for tilting and panning there is one button on the back this is for locking the device I'll tell you more about it when I show you the demo this also has a quarter inch thread hole one on the back and another at the bottom. You can mount it on a tripod for additional stability. This is a three axis gimbal. This is the axis one, this is the axis two, and this is the third axis. Unscrew the bottom handle of the gimbal, it's where the battery goes. Like I've already mentioned, I have two batteries and each battery is of 300 mAh which claims like 8 hours of usage on one full charge. So I can use this for a total of 16 hours before I need a charge. That was for unboxing. Now let me show you how to set this device up, what are its features and how to use it. Setting up is easy as this gimbal can take a load of up to 240 grams which most of the smartphone weighs nowadays. Stretch the grip. Slide the phone right until the bottom of the phone touches the gimbal. You will notice that the balance is tilted on one side. 
This knob can be loosened to adjust the axis front and back to find the closest balancing point. Before you power on the gimbal, balance the gimbal as much as possible, which will enhance the life of the motor as well as give better battery performance. After a few tries, you will find a perfect balance. This looks good, so tighten the knob now. Power the gimbal by clicking the function button for 3 seconds. As soon as the gimbal is on, the mobile will come to its stabilized default position. Use the joystick to pan the phone from left to right. See how the phone stays in its position even if you tilt the gimbal in any direction. See how the phone follows the gimbal moment. Single tap on the function button will activate the panning mode but it will lock the tilting mode. This is useful when you have to shoot a particular object, keeping the phone in a particular focus position. Double tapping the function button will activate the panning and tilting mode. This is useful when you have to follow an object. Triple tapping the function button will rotate the gimbal in 180 degree angle and it will start taking a selfie from the rear camera. Panning and tilting can also be activated in this particular angle. Triple tapping the function button again will take the phone to its normal position. Now if you tilt the gimbal upside down, the phone will adjust the tilting motion and the phone will be inverted. This will help you to take a very low angle shots. Again, all other functionality will work as normal. Come to gimbal's upright position and the phone will also adjust its angle and come to the normal position. The button on the back is called the trigger button. Long pressing the button will lock the mode. The phone will remain in the same position no matter which angle you move or tilt the gimbal. Long pressing this trigger button will activate the zoom function of the phone app. You will be able to zoom in and zoom out. And double tapping this trigger button will reset the function. It will return to the panning mode, tilting mode. It has a 320 degree backward and forward tilting motion, which is pretty sufficient. Now an amazing feature, it has a 360 degree limitless panning motion in each direction. Download the Feiyu On app from Google Play Store or App Store. And setting up is very easy. Both the device, phone and gimbal is paired via Bluetooth. And you can use the shutter button to click the photo or take videos. The app has face detection feature which detects your face and pan or tilts the device to keep your face in focus. Though this is not that accurate if the motion is fast. But for slow movement, this feature is very useful. Click the shutter button once to take the photo and click it for 3 seconds to start a video recording. Like the inbuilt camera app, this app also has various modes like photo, video, panorama, time lapse, etc. So all in all, it's a very useful app which enhances the gimbal's capabilities. To conclude, the reason I choose Feiyu Tech SPG over Zion Smooth Q is for its built quality. Feiyutech SPG has metallic body which is much durable, can last long, whereas Zion Smooth Q has a plastic body, might break if dropped. Another reason is removable battery. Feiyutech SPG has a removable battery, whereas Zion Smooth Q has inbuilt battery. I know that Zion Smooth Q can last for 12 hours as compared to 8 hours by Feiyutech, but if there is any battery issue, or if the battery drains out quickly, nothing can be done. Whereas in Feiyutech SPG, just replace the battery, which is available for just 12 to 14 US dollars.
according to me, these two pros were enough for me to finalize on Feutech SPG. Let me show you some sample footage shot with handheld versus gimbal usage. Thanks for watching. If you have liked this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.